We're at DEFCON 420. That's right, Rudy Ranch has entered DEFCON 420 because this is seriously the most fucked up thing that has ever happened to me. Like, I'm not even joking. When I found out what was going on here with this person, like, I was legitimately frightened. I'm not even joking. I'm not even kidding. The Rudy Ranch uh, might be terminated. It almost was terminated in this moment. This is, like, seriously, like, if the tinfoil is warranted, I think some fucked up shit's going on. But if what I think's going on is true, then the Rudy Ranch is over. Like, I'm fucking dead serious now, because this is, like, this is super fucked up. And that's why we are in the Rudy Ranch's uh, bunker. We're, we're in the Northern Cowboys bunker, which is close to the core of the earth. It's very hot in here, so I may fucking sweat. But anyway... Our story begins, uh, a few weeks ago, actually, a few days ago, uh, the Rudy Ranch is continuing as normal when I get a message from someone, a phantom from my past. It's not Halloween yet, but I still got Dementors coming after me. I have a friend. A fr an old friend, I've censored his name because we don't know if the parties being accused her are actually guilty yet, but this is one of my friend's from way back when, he was a furry, he was a weirdo, but to be fair, I'm probably more of a weirdo than he ever was now. So, and I was rude to him in the past, and I kind of feel feel like a dick. So I'm, I was really surprised, actually, that he did reach out to me uh, like this. Uh, he found my YouTube channel, because he has a YouTube channel too, and sometimes I comment on his videos just to kind of fuck with him. But he found his way to my channel, and to my Discord, because it does say he's part of the Rudy's World Discord. But anyway, he waves to me, and I pretty much just say, Hey, what's up? You know, hello, my old friend. I see you found my degenerate Rudy's World. Hope you enjoyed our strange... I hope you enjoy our strange mannerisms. It's all in good fun what we do here. Yeah, so he... Uh, that's, you know, that's a reasonable story. He, uh, f you know, followed one of my comments that I left on his video. The last comment I left on his video was from months ago before I started making videos. So he, uh, like... You know, he thought of me, and he looked me up, and then he reached out to me like this. So I was kind of happy, you know, I'd, I'd like to hang out with him again, and see what he's up to, and I would be respectful to him. So, yeah, he finds my, and he is like a liberal, I, I do kind of like follow up on all my friends on Facebook and see what they're kind of up to, and I know he's like some, like, BLM or progressive liberal, so maybe his channel isn't exactly for him, but you know, I'd still be willing to be his friend and shit like that. So, yeah, let me know what you think of my works. Rick the Antichrist and Mr. Runkers are my best works. Well, I mean, kind of there, but, you know, an old an old neo-Nazi alt-writer tactic that I'm deploying here uh, is when you sneak the memes in, you sneak the red pill in with the memes there. That's exactly what I was doing there. So, uh, there's a blank space there. There was a message he sent me, and he deleted it as soon as I sent this message after. He said, uh, do you want to go to uh, with me to Fernal, uh, like, 2022 or whatever? And uh, it, was, it was, like, Fernal, like, F-U-R-N-A-L. And I knew immediately that it was, like, a furry convention. So, you know, I'm a fucking asshole, and I kind of always has been. Always have been. So, you know, I say, what's that? You mean a funeral? <laughs> And I say that just to fuck with him and get him to admit that it's like a furry con, uh, but he doesn't take the bait. And, you know, so my, you know, my narcissistic power abuse tactic there didn't work. Uh, that's a lesson for all you fucking neurotypicals out there. Oh shit, the bunker is falling apart. Yeah, that's a lesson for all you neurotypicals out there. That's how you, that's how you fuck with them. So that's how you, oh no. We're losing protection, but we're just going to continue. So yeah, you asked me to go to FurCon. I'd go, but I'd have to see what I'm doing. When is it? It's March, I think. Yeah, so like, again, I already looked up this fucking thing as soon as he mentioned it. And I am being honest here. I would go to FurryCon, uh, not because I'm a degenerate fur fag, but because I got Kino on the mind. That is, seriously, that is what I immediately thought of when he mentioned that, but I would be respectful when I went there. I would not be a fucking asshole. I'd probably dress up as, like, Mr. Medicare, like a fur fag Mr. Medicare. And then if anyone accused me of being a Nazi, uh, I'd just flash convert to Scout from TF2. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I, I do that, and also to hang out with him, because, 
you know, he's probably a nice guy. He probably realized that he was cringy back then, and I realized I was a dick back then, so maybe our friendship could begin anew. So I said yes. Uh, yeah, so 18th and the 20th, COVID might fuck it over, though. Are you vaccinated? And the reason why I wasn't, like, sussed about this, like, it does seem like a very realistic thing to happen. He reached out to me through my YouTube channel, and he is, like, a leftist fucking weirdo. That is why he inv- invited me to FurCon and uh, is immediately asking me if I'm fucking vaccinated. So, you know, I'm a fucking giga chat. I just say no. You know, I- I'm not going to justify myself to you. I don't have to. I'll just say no, I'm not fucking vaccinated. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in my head thinking here, oh, God, he's going to think immediately that I'm, like, a fucking, uh, like, weirdo because of my channel, and obviously now that I'm not willing to take the vax. I'm some sort of Alex Jonesian conspiracy theorist, probably start uh, trying to start the ethno state here. That's probably what's going on in his mind. I kind of know how progressives think. Uh, but, you know, maybe he's trying to be my friend here really hard, which is what I think when he says, yeah, I think you can't go then, damn. You know, he doesn't mention the politics there at all. Uh, he He's just stating a fact. You know, next one, I guess, because, you know, I do want to hang out with this guy. And I was going to say, uh, yeah, hopefully, but I have a feeling this won't end anytime soon. Again, that's totally something like a leftist would say. Uh, like, oh, I respect, you know, well, I'm, like, respecting your opinion here to your face. Uh, but, you know, I am going to just, you know, try and, like, fear-monger you here a bit. Uh, that's kind of what he was doing there, because, you know, in his mind, the, the fucking coronavirus will not end until everyone is vaccinated. So, anyway, I just changed the subject immediately, because I don't give a shit about that. Nice to speak to you again. What are you up to these, these days? And this is, like, the fucking weird thing. This is, like, the weirdest thing ever that kind of, like, you know, came to light earlier. I've been traveling a lot lately. Recently, I went to Vancouver a few weeks. I'm planning to go to Niagara Falls. How's life been true to you? And I know this is true because, again, like, on his Facebook, I keep up with all my friends. Uh, he, he has gone to Vancouver and on his YouTube channel, uh, which we'll keep private because, again, he is he's not guilty yet. He's still being accused. Uh he, he did go to Vancouver and film, like, trains there because, you know, that's what he does. He likes trains. So, yeah, I knew that was true. So, like, you know, it must be him. There's no fucking other way. Uh, so, yeah, so here's Rudy Lore. You know, I'm not some sort of fucking, like, anyone smart or whatever. I'm just a blue-collar worker. Yeah, after high school, sweatshop, factory, kitchen. I was a mover for four years. Uh, I got laid off last year, and I'm a contractor. Yeah, contract killer, baby. No, I just do, like, ducks and then rock and shit. Uh, apart from that, I compete in mountain bike races. I also do, so draw, do scale modeling. I collect tarantulas of anime, such as JoJo. Yeah, so, you know, there's nothing nefarious about me. I'm being totally honest with, like, everyone and, like, everything I do. Sorry, it took a while to get back to you. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I know this guy's got fucking nothing going on. Of course you can respond to Rudy. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it took him, like, four days to get back to me. I've been very busy. Yeah, I tell him to go, like, speak to my boys there because he knew these guys in the past, and I'm still friends with them, and they have discords too, so I'm like, oh, if he found me, you know, maybe he just found my YouTube channel, and he doesn't know these, you know, he doesn't know they have Discord, he doesn't know their discords yet. So I just ask him for a steam, and he doesn't get fucking get back to me. And I knew something was going on there. Something was going on here. Uh... I have been speaking to a few other people on Discord, actually. I, yeah, I've been speaking to the Daimo himself on Discord. Yeah, he's being all friendly with me in Discord there, buddy. But, uh, I think he might be planning some shit behind the scenes with uh, this really, really sus fucking weird shit here. Uh, yeah, that was all just a front, him being nice to me on Discord there. You fucking moron. Because, you know, the Daimo, what I think might have happened was the Daimo, obviously the Daimo, disguised as my friend here from high school, he he somehow hacked into YouTube's database, uh, or like he somehow found my comments on this guy's channel, like he did something, you know, like this is real, like Dispatch can track down fucking people, like anywhere they are. So, like, you know, there must be a fucking way that the Daimo could, like, like, find a YouTube video comment that I posted on and, like, look into this guy's life and discover all this shit about him. Because he didn't know about my boys there because, like, you know, he never, uh, this guy, you know, we'll call him C, you know, he never, he never talks about my other boys in his shit. So he really, he really went all in with this. 
And I only knew this was a susser because the Daimo didn't count on one thing. That I actually have other friends, you fucking idiot. Because I talked to them. And my boy here, Pretzel. Uh, we're not censoring his profile picture there because it's cool. It's a bubble shield from Halo 3 that he ran through a bunch of filters. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's his name, Chris. Oops, I forgot to censor that one. You know his name, Chris. You gotta find, yeah, the, the hunt is on, you gotta find Chris. Chris is saying he only uses one account and does not recognize the number you gave me, so either you have been bullshitting me... Oh, wait, I might have, uh... Oh, fuck. Oops. <laughs> oh, God, do I restart? Oh, no, fuck it. Uh, Chris is saying he only uses one account and does not recognize the number you gave me, so either you have been bullshitting me or communicating with someone pretending to be Chris or is not the Chris we know. Also, double-check that if you aren't confused, because Chris uses a, sp a space in his profile, uh, whereas on Discord he doesn't. Yeah, but, like, he reached out to me. Like, what the fuck is going on? In the Discord account you were talking uh, is the real one named... <laughs> fuck. Uh, I got a sense for that somehow. Yeah, I'll, send, I'll find a way. <laughs> His name is Rue, and then it is it is not Chris. It doesn't show up in any of our mutual friends list either. Ask, ask something only he would know, uh, such as what did he do in class with the class calculators, and what did he do with his model cars in the schoolyard? Yeah, so... <laughs> We, are, we go way back, man. We go way back. We were in middle school together, and this fucking guy would, like, scratch his name into all the fucking calculators so that they were unusable. And, like, I knew this guy was an autist. I knew this fucking guy was an autist. You know, like me, because I did the same thing when I was, like, his, uh, you know, younger. But when we were in class, he would check to make sure no one's looking, and he'd fucking throw his calculators out the window, and I noticed him doing that. I fucking tattled on him, and he got in shit for that. That was, that was fucking hilarious. But, yeah, he'd scratch his names into the calculators, too. And, like, I'd just go up to him, and he'd have a new calculator, and I'd just fucking give him back his one that he scratched his name into. Yeah, so, like, that's a deep lore about, like, our relationship because we do go way back this is so fucked up so yeah so he has an actual like different profile so i'm like yeah who would pretend to be him online how would they know we're friends why would i bullshit you in 4k uh, like like why would he have two accounts like what the fuck is going on here like at this moment i'm I, i'm genuinely terrified that like dispatch or like jade Anks or probably you know the dymo uh, has fucking, like, done all this deep diving shit into me and has discovered all these fucking people. Like, Jesus Christ. You know, like, if they were able to do all that in, like, this short amount of time, like, you know, they're gonna find out all the other shit. Like, fuck, I, I gotta nuke everything. If this is true, if the Dymo's behind this, or, like, if anyone, if Jadanks or fucking Dispatch or, like, like Surfer, if anyone's behind this, like, I'm fucking gone, man. I'm moving to Siberia. Dude, I'm fucking out of here. I asked him, and he denies having two accounts. You have two accounts? Do you use two accounts? Uh, no, it's the one. So, like, yeah, he's even he's saying, like, yeah, why the fuck would I reach out to this guy? And I'm like, well, fuck, in my head it made sense. Like, it took me, it took, like, that little, like, to believe. You know, like, all he said, all he did was, like, he had the fucking username, and I just immediately knew it was him. Like, what other fucking CIA mind tricks are going on here? Like, if that's all it fucking took. And, like, anyone would fall for that. Don't act like you're not a fucking genius. You wouldn't immediately, like, call him up and, like, suss out the guy. The 14th rule of the Northern Cowboys is always be, sh be sure the mandem you're talking to is. So, uh, you know, the punishment for that one is I can't masturbate for 10 years, which kind of sucks, but... You know, it's punishment enough for failing that vital code of honor. This is so fucked up. Yeah, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What planet am I living on? Like, this is, again, like, I, I talked about, like, Discord kittens, and that could have happened. That could have happened. That, you know, that could have been me right there. Fuck. You know, I, I knew not to say anything, and I was very careful with what I said, because, again, like, I always am careful with who I speak to online and in person, Mind you, I'm not a fucking idiot. But again, like, I did believe it was him. Wow, yeah, so, like, he, he fucking went to Vancouver. Like, he, he did do that, and he knew that. He said that in the fucking message. <sighs> Holy fuck. Yeah, so, like, I was actually excited to fucking meet him. Which, they I guess they knew that somehow. Maybe they heard my thoughts, which is... 
why I'm never taking this fucking thing off. Uh, like, Jesus Christ. Like, fuck, that's why I spoke to him. So, yeah, he has, like, multiple Steam accounts, too. Let's go over that. Like, because, like, over the years, like, I, you know, I've tried to reach out to this guy. He has Facebook, but I really don't want to, like, reach out to him like that. But, yeah, he's had this fucking Steam account, Toronto Furry. And then, he, you know, he has that one. And then he, and then he has, like, uh, the, the, that has the actual name in it. But he, he has, like, two. And there's, like, a third one, even, that I think he actually uses and, like, blocked my invite. So, you know, I guess he didn't want to fucking speak to me. And I don't really blame him. But, you know, uh, maybe, I'll, uh, maybe I'll apologize if he fucking explains what's going on here, maybe. Or it is the fucking Dymo. Wow, this is fucked up. I feel there may be a uh, final confrontation brewing on the horizon, and we are ready. All of our allies are dead. It's just gonna be us two in this final battle. But seriously, like, this is really fucked up. Like, like what's going on? Like, please, someone help me out here. There's guy. I've gotta have a friend in this world. Well, yeah, of course I do, but... Yeah. Yeah, look forward. Look forward to such shit, boys. Look forward to that.